Good morning, guys. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Darius and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are going to be making some plant-based protein pancakes. Protein pancakes. Everybody loves pancakes, so I figured I'd give you guys a healthy recipe that was nutrient rich, that was plant-based because I live a plant-based lifestyle that you can use on this get lean and quarantine. So for any of you who've ever made pancakes from scratch before, you know it's not an overcomplicated recipe. For those of you who have tried protein pancakes, you know, sometimes they don't really taste like the light and fluffy buttermilk pancakes that grandma used to make. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of tricks to get those light, fluffy pancakes, but increase the protein intake as well. Ingredients list we got here. First thing I got up is just regular all-purpose flour. Now, uh, any pancake recipe you use is gonna have this. I um, have also used like flaxseed. I've also used like whole wheat. Any one of these you want to manipulate the macros or if you have a preference will work in this recipe. You can go online and find ways to make it to, to make one-to-one -one ratios if you use a different, something different than just all-purpose flour, but that was what I used for the base of mine. Next, I used some silk milk, All right? Right here, we have the macros. In this recipe, I used about one and a half cups of this and uh, a cup of the flour. Baking powder, this is what helps you get that light fluffy pancake. It helps the pancake rise. I use, I don't use sugar in this recipe. I use Dot Fit flavor packs. I've tried the cookie dough and I've tried the orange cream. Both of them taste great. I usually use orange or lemon extract to add some flavor, like a fruit flavor to my pancakes. Once Dot Fit came out with the flavor packs, this for me worked perfect at a minimal amount of calories. It still tastes really good. Um, I also use Dot Fit plant-based vanilla protein to add to my pancakes. A little bit of apple cider vinegar, some vanilla, and some hemp seeds. I told you guys I was gonna give you some tips and tricks. So if you're plant-based like me, you don't drink buttermilk. But Buttermilk pancakes are the best. So what's the quick fix? Little vegan almond milk or soy milk and some apple cider vinegar. One cup, one tablespoon. If you put these two together and let them sit for about five minutes, the reaction you'll get will basically give you a plant-based version of buttermilk. If you don't have any apple cider vinegar laying around, you can also use lemon juice. Same ratio, one cup of the milk, so one tablespoon of lemon juice and voila, vegan buttermilk. Now that we've got all our ingredients, we're ready to put them together and make our pancakes. So, first thing you do is take whatever plant-based milk that you have, one cup, and you mix it with the tablespoon of either apple cider vinegar or lemon juice to form your buttermilk. You're gonna wanna let that sit for about five minutes. You're gonna grab yourself a bowl, mix all your dry ingredients together, make sure you sift those so all the ingredients are spread evenly. Put the rest of your wet ingredients inside your milk, mix that up, pour the two together, mix them in. When you're done, you should come out with a consistency, something similar to this here. All right, a little bit thicker than normal pancake mix. And of course, you know, it's your recipe at this point now. So if you like them a little bit thinner, you can thin them out a little bit more. I like fluffy pancakes. So my recipe is a little bit thicker because um, that's just the way I choose to eat them. You guys ready? 
Now it's time to actually put the pancakes together. For you pancake amateurs out there, here comes another pro tip. Always let the grill in the pan heat up first. I know, crazy. After you let your grill in your pan heat up, then you drop the pancakes. Make sure you got handy dandy spatula ready to flip. My pancake grill is nice and hot now. For me, I use a one third measuring cup as my scoop. Now after you get about three minutes per side, normally when you cook pancakes, there's a bunch of bubbles. So you get some bubbles in these Deacon pancakes, but really about the somewhere between two and three minute mark works pretty well. Go ahead and flip the pancake over. And you'll have you some nice brown pancakes. All right, pancakes are done. They smell great. For me, I got a little bowl of fruit here. I always eat fruit with my pancakes, so I'll put a little bit of fruit on there. Got my zero calorie syrup. So we'll throw some syrup on there. And voila. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the recipe. Um, had some fun making some pancakes for you. Simple recipe, we got more recipes coming. I'll do some shakes, we'll do some lunches, we'll do some dinners. Just wanna help you guys out as much as I can and hope you're getting leaned in the quarantine. Thumbs up.